she said when she arrived was and was unpacking at uh, Tule Lake, a uh, knock came and she opened the door and there were two ladies, uh, dusty, shoes dusty and so on. They had walked from the other end of camp. They said, we heard that the <coughs> uh, family of the boy that's in jail uh, is arriving today. So <coughs> we came out to uh, welcome you and to say thank you for your son. And uh, when I read that, I experienced uh, a sudden, you know, uh, removement of uh, weight on my shoulders, which I didn't realize I was carrying ever since the time when my mother pled with me to. She said, I, I admire what you've done. I agree with you. But uh, if we get separated now, we may never see each other again. If the government could do this sort of thing, they could keep us apart. So please, come with us. It's important to keep together. Uh, <clears throat> and I said, I'd like to, uh, but uh, I'm in the I'm in, uh, hands of others. Uh, who are looking after me, and uh, you don't have to worry on that part. Uh, I just can't go. I wouldn't be the same person if I went now, because I, I took a stand, and I, I can't give it up. Uh, and so even tears couldn't change my views. But it gave me a sense of guilt, you know, on failing to respond as a dutiful son. But I didn't realize I was carrying it. To, when I read that letter saying, uh, that visit gave me a big lift. That uh, weight left. So I re realized that I was carrying a kind of a guilt feeling uh, as a son uh, <clears throat> until uh, I read, because I knew that standing there next to her wouldn't have given her the same kind of lift. So uh, lots, lots of peculiar uh, uh, encouragement came uh, during my experience of taking a stand. And uh, so I've had no occasion to regret the stand, wish, wishing I had done something different. Uh, 